So in my last video I showed you how easy it was to create a feed from your post in WordPress and we created a couple of uh, dummy posts just to demonstrate that and we also made these uh, titles and these read more buttons linked to that post uh, but the problem we had was uh, we don't have a layout for it so because of that it falls back on our index.php and uh, it's not set up to take that post title. So what we'll do right now is we'll open up our editor and let's open up page.php because we're going to copy the same template and I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to save it as and it has to be saved as single.php and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm copy and paste all of it and save it. Let me go back to my page and refresh. And that's it. It's already done. Oh, we don't have to keep the same look as um, the other inside pages. In fact, blog postings or news postings uh, usually have an author and even a date is provided. So uh, let's go ahead and add that. Switch back over to my editor. And instead of using this uh, just kind of this default look. I'm gonna take that out. I use a bootstrap kind of a setup for a page heading, and it's gonna be using the class of a page dash header. So we're dealing with the class of page header, and I had an H uh, an H3 before. I'm gonna go with an H2, and inside of that, I'm gonna open up PHP tags, I'm just going to put the title and close that out the semicolon and about put the author right next to it and let's see by and I'll open up another PHP tag whoops and I'll put the author Close that out. We'll over the date, which is down here. I'll open up an H4, and again, more PHP tags. You'll get used to this, but you don't need a lot of them. At least for a very basic template, you will. Um, let's go ahead and save this. Make sure it works. I'm gonna refresh it. And now you can see that I've got the full date showing and um, the author. I'm going to tweak that just a little bit. I'm going to put, I'm going to wrap up some M, an M tag around my author. And for my date, uh, you can actually do that in WordPress itself. And it's probably best practice to just uh, utilize it as much as you can. The dashboard, I mean, um, I'm going to sign in. There's no sense in writing extra code when you've got this CMS to do it for you. Uh, go to reading, I think. Nope. It's on general. Okay, sorry. Um, you can change the date format right here. Let's see. I wanted it to be structured like that. I could uh, save it. And then go back and view it really quick and there you go so it's just a quick tip well what else uh, blog postings or articles or whatever usually have a commenting section as well and we can add that let's see we'll put it right below the content and it's just well let me just show you how to do it you put comments there's comments underscore template and uh, let's not worry about this stuff for now let's just delete that and save it I'm gonna go back to my browser and refresh and this is a default comment that was came with WordPress and you can see uh, it left us this pretty plain 
bare commenting section, but it's kind of well, it's still responsive. I think now would be a good time to uh, get involved with some Bootstrap, and maybe we can create our own custom comments template. In fact, I think that's what I'll do for my next video. I'll create a comments template for WordPress, and I'll use Bootstrap. Uh, thanks for watching, and that's it.